Around the same time Romela's son expected to find out the sex of her baby, doctors told her something else. Her unborn daughter had spina bifida. They said that she'd be incontinent and be in diapers for life. So we were absolutely crushed. Um, she's our first girl after having four boys, so you know that was we were just so devastated. Son did research and found a hospital in Canada to take on her case to work on the baby's spine while she was still in the womb. They had to go through like make sure that I was healthy enough, make sure that the baby was healthy enough, and make sure that there were no other complications. So I had to do a series of health tests before they could um, let me know whether I was a candidate or not. Thankfully, the tests came back okay. At 36 weeks pregnant, son went in for surgery. I wasn't scared. I, I had already done my research on those doctors. I had 100% confidence in their, them and their abilities. Son spent two weeks recovering in the hospital, waiting out the end of her pregnancy. And I just kind of had to try to stay pregnant and <laughs> um, not uh, burst open until uh, until it was time for her to come out. Son delivered a beautiful baby girl named Aiko via a C-section. Aiko stayed in the NICU for three weeks and is now thriving. She's got feeling all the way down to her toes. You know, her back is fully healed. Her brain is stable. And, you know, she's just a regular baby right now. The best outcome possible. For InsideEdition.com, I'm Kelly Newman.